it's nyla welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a different kind of video i've never done a wig video here on my channel so i've been wanting to do one of these types of videos for a while so i'm finally bringing one for y'all so in today's video i just showed y'all start to finish everything that i did to complete this look so i colored the hair rinsed it all that good stuff and i also included my installation footage and how my stylist styled it so this is a super fun video to make if y'all want more of these let me know shout out to wiggins hair for sponsoring today's video and let's go ahead and jump into it so in the box i received an elastic band a pair of lashes a card that basically just explains how to wash and care for the hair i also received a little card and then the bag like dust bag that the um wig comes in so yeah this is what the wig looks like these are all the colors that i'm going to be using and here are the rest of the materials that we need so i have some conditioner i also have a bowl for my dye and i have a lot of dye brushes but i only really needed to buy one pack but i was just being extra so here's the wig um right out of the package this is what it looks like it's a 14 inch brazilian straight 613 wig so yeah um i just went ahead and separated the hair in five sections because i have five colors other than the color i'm using for my roots and i just went ahead and dyed each section the designated color i wanted <music> Down below in the description, I will have all the details about the hair and I'll also have all the colors that I used on the hair so you guys can find it easier instead of screenshotting if you guys want to use this tutorial or this video if you guys are looking for inspo or anything like that. So I'll have the list of all the colors I used on this hair in the description box. <music> As for the quality of the hair, since I'm not really doing anything but dyeing it right now, the quality was amazing y'all. This is my first time working with 613 hair and this is my first time dyeing hair and it took color really really well. It was super soft straight out of the package. I received no shedding at all whatsoever. So I really love this hair. It's so bomb. I'll definitely be trying it again. I didn't mention this but as I was um, dyeing the hair I rubber band each section so they wouldn't mix so this is what the hair looks like when I'm done dyeing it I let this sit for an hour and 30 and then I went ahead and rinsed it out so 
before I rinsed it, I went ahead and worked on the root. So I used this mocha color from Adore and I diluted it with conditioner to make a lighter brown. And I used this on the roots and I let this sit for 30 minutes, 15 minute intervals, just checking on it because I didn't want it to be too dark. But I loved how it turned out. It looks so natural um, once I rinsed it. So yeah, I went ahead and headed over to the bathroom and rinsed out the color and it didn't bleed at all. The color was very saturated on each section of the hair, which I loved. But I went ahead and did the color first just so it wouldn't bleed on the blonde if it wasn't ready yet um it did sit for a while so after that i went ahead and worked with my shiny silver which is basically a shampoo that takes out the brassiness and yellowness of the blonde because the blonde was kind of like a yellow unrealistic color so i went ahead and did a little bit of that and that took down that brassiness and got me the blonde that i wanted and this is what it looks like it turned out super super cute so i love it I never told y'all the look I was going for, so this is a peekaboo style. So I only sectioned the back so that when like the wind blows or whatever, you can see the colors in the back, and it's not too much since it's my first time working with colors. So after that, I went ahead and blow dried it because I'm impatient and I didn't want it to air dry because I wanted to see how it looked then and there. But yeah, y'all, y'all can see like the hair is still bomb after being dyed. I blow dried it. The shampoo definitely worked some wonders. The hair is just shiny, flowy, it just looks bomb. <laughs> Now working on the ponytail portion of the hair, basically I did the same exact steps and I dyed the hair in the same exact order as the back of the hair, so just in smaller portions. As I was dyeing the hair, I also wrapped the rest of the hair so that I wouldn't get the dye on the blonde part since the blonde part is at the top so basically it was just like a barrier to separate it so I could dye the top which is pretty self-explanatory but I just wanted to point that out So this is pretty much how it looked when I was done. I did the exact same steps as I did for the back of the hair. So I let this sit for like an hour and then I went ahead and head over back to the sink and washed the color out. Once again, I didn't get any bleeding and it was a super simple job. So I did that and this is what the ponytail looks like. like the back of the hair I went ahead and blow dried it and then after I was done doing that I went ahead and flat ironed the hair not all the way like bone straight but I just ran the flat iron through afterwards and you can pick this up from Amazon I'll have the direct link to this flat iron if I can find it down below This is pretty much what the hair looks like when I'm all done with it. I blow dried it, dyed it, washed it, rinsed it. Everything is done to it. So now we're just waiting for my hair appointment. It is the morning time, y'all. It's super early. Well, at least for me, it's 7, 11. So yeah, um, I'm about to 
go to my hair appointment. I'm gonna record for y'all, and that's gonna be the end of today's video. So I'm really debating going if I should put lashes on or not. I had lashes on, I slept with them, it didn't end well. So I took them off, they're literally right here. But I got up super early, got up at like six o'clock, and I went ahead and got dressed. So my outfit is from the Baddie Factory, and then my hat is just Vineyard Vines. Y'all know my obsession I used to have with that if you guys aren't new to my channel but if you are welcome to my channel it's kind of late to say that because we're already like what 10 minutes in seven minutes into the video but it's okay so I'm gonna take y'all along with me but yeah I do leave for Atlanta next week so that vlog will be up soon and yeah So that pretty much sums up the video i hope y'all enjoyed give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also follow me on my social medias if you guys haven't and big shout out to wiggins hair for sponsoring today's video like i said in the beginning if y'all want more wig videos let me know down below and i will see y'all in my next one bye guys Mwah.